हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टेप वाइज लेबर ओ बी जी वाई माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर किशन पटेल टुडे वी विल सी टी एल एच इन केस ऑफ प्रीवियस टू सी एस इन मल्टीपल मायोमा सो दिस पेशेंट हैड अ मल्टीपल स्मॉल फाइब्रोइड्स इन द यूटरस यू कैन सी बल्कि यूटरस देर आर टू टू थ्री फाइब्रोइड्स वन इन लेफ्ट कॉर्नू ऑल्सो इन राइट कॉर्नू सो दिस बल्जिंग पार्ट इज आवर यूटराइन मेनिपुलेटर सुखड़े मेनिपुलेटर You can see the bladder anteriorly, densely adherent. From left to right, you can see that dense adhesion line. I am lifting the bladder. So I have an habit to look panoramic view of anteriorly as well as posteriorly. So we can plan that how to separate bladder from central dissection or lateral window technique from right or left. so we have inspected the possibilities now we will start the total laparoscopic hysterectomy by lateral window technique as our steps are simple and not changing in every tlh likewise in left corneal structures fallopian tube ovarian ligament followed by round ligament so we will cut it and make a small nick posteriorly Today I have edited this video very minimally to demonstrate a lateral window technique. So whenever I cut over a ligament, I am always keeping a nick posteriorly for demarcation. So I should not go laterally beyond that demarcation. So here you can see the dense bladder adhesion. so i will keeping towards the uterus and cut the peritoneum over the uterus and not damaging the bladder we will gradually go small by small bites i am having difficulty due to small fibroid making problem in instrumentation you can see that small fibroid which comes in a way so i am holding that fibroid and cutting the peritoneum over the uterus only so what things we should keep in our mind is we should not go directly central dissection in case of previous 1 cs 2 cs as this case is of previous 2 cs we will gently separate a peritoneum over the uterus and will go lateral window technique very slowly because we might not know we are cutting a peritoneum or a bladder we can land up in the bladder injury in this this type of cases now we are separating posterior fold so we can skeletonize the uterine artery very beautifully you can see i am holding a peritoneum with a maryland forceps and cutting with the shearer i am using bipolar cutter shearer indian made shearer as an energy source you can see uterine artery very beautifully beneath the peritoneum it is very tortuous in this so we will cut now right uterosacral ligament so we can get a proper traction while separating the bladder we have separated the uterosacral ligament now on the opposite side in this particular case the lateral dimensions 
of fundus is more due to the two fibroids in both the coronal part and uh, we can have a difficulty in uh, reaching the isthmus area and the lower part of the uterus you can see the uterine vessels very beautifully tortuous on same side also now we are cutting the uterocycle ligament on our side as well and matching to the opposite side by cutting this uterocycle ligament we can get a proper traction to the uterus by you sukhade manipulator from the below and our assistant can very beautifully assist us during bladder separation so as we have separated the peritoneum we are looking for the bladder i have catch with the metal end and look for the mobility of the bladder now we will go step by step by lateral window technique as i am lifting with the maryland and separating slowly above the artery we have identified the uterine vessels you can see very beautiful it is seen tortuous so i am cutting small small bites from the laterally so we can not damage or we should not damage the bladder so i am finding the cervix vertical small blood vessels are seen on the cervix you can see the bladder this white portion is of cervix so i am separating the bladder by pushing back of uterine artery or pushing downward you can see i have not cut that part but cutting on the central part because that was the uterine artery itself by feeling we can see that this is a tubular structure tortuous that part is of uterine artery itself we will see after separating complete bladder after this this portion yes this is the cervix as you can see white structure beneath the fold is a cervix vertical coming small capillary blood vessels are of cervix only nothing else and this part is i am showing with the maryland is a uterine vessels which is coming from the lateral part and isthmus area of the uterus so i am cutting with the safe margin and this is the bladder i am showing with my maryland you can very beautifully delineate so we have separated whole bladder from the cervix by lateral window technique from our side left side right you can see the vertical coming blood vessels small blood vessels and the white structure this is nothing but the cervix this is the bladder pillar i am showing and i will lift the bladder pillar structure and pushing back by blunt dissection and as well as sharp dissection so we have separated the cervix from the opposite side and we will skeletonize the right uterine vessels on the opposite side as the transverse diameter is more in fundal area i found some difficulty but not a much stress now i am skeletonizing the uterine vessels you can see very beautifully a uterine vessels are appearing tortuous you can see like a steps in a abdominal hysterectomy we are skeletonizing the uterine vessels to get a proper pedicle during coagulating the uterine vessels after skeletonizing the uterine vessel i will make sure the bladder is not coming and lifting the bladder pillar from the uterine vessel as well you can see the uterine vessel beneath the part i am coagulating that is the whole uterine vessel artery as well as vein posteriorly so i am pushing back the bladder pillars so when i will coagulate with the bipolar it should not damage you can see the beautifully uterine artery on the same side this is the portion which i was not cutting during lateral window technique because large uterine vessels were seen during the dissection and if we cut that part we will damage that uterine vasculature and it will be a disaster 
you can see we have beautiful skeleton as the uterine vasculature on the same side as well as on the opposite side now we will coagulate the uterine vasculature with a bipolar cautery so you can see the very beautiful uterine vasculature on the same side we are coagulating with the bipolar cautery so we are coagulating on the both the side then and then we will cut with the shearer so we have not facing the any bleeding in this surgery so this is a very simple case of tlh having a no bleeding at all this is a very good advantage of total laparoscopic hysterectomy that patient has no bleeding early recovery faster recovery and resumation of their daily work very early you can see that tortuous uterine vessels during coagulating bleeding little bit as we have encountered and we have coagulating the with bipolar bleeding stops as we are coagulating on both the side then and then cut for the, with a shearer you can see the change of color of uterus specimen due to stoppage of blood supply now we are coagulating and cutting with the bipolar cutter or a shearer this is a indian made shearer i am cutting the uterine vasculature and going immediately posteriorly to complete the paracervical ring and lifting with the maryland and also completing the paracervical ring anteriorly as well as on the opposite side you can see very beautifully the vaginal portion of the cervix we can delineate that part above that is a bladder vagina and this is the cervical vagina junction we are cutting we are separating the any bladder fibers coming onto the paracervical ring part you can see very beautifully particularly going blood vessels that is only of the cervix only we are completing our paracervical ring to the center and as we are going on to the opposite side we will coagulating and cutting the opposite side uterine vasculature and meeting that and matching that part of the anteriorly as we are cutting uterine vasculature on the opposite side as we are cutting and we will go immediately posteriorly to finish our paracervical ring posteriorly uterocecal mechanical ligament remaining part of it as to separate cervix from the vagina posteriorly as well so that bulging part is nothing but a vagina only during uterine manipulation we will see that cup is coming on that area only so we are matching the anterior portion of the paracervical ring and we have finished our total laparoscopic hysterectomy part now we will introduce a uterine manipulator sukhadia tube for completing our hysterectomy colpotomy part with a monopolar quadri to save the time i will coagulating and cutting opposite and same side fallopian tube this is a opportunistic salpingectomy we are doing in every cases we have completed the opposite side fallopian tube removal and as well as on the same side fallopian tube i am coagulating and cutting and putting into the pod so my assistant has push the tube you can see very beautifully that cup is cup is coming anteriorly so we are doing colpotomy with a monopolar quadri we can see the white portion of the tube anteriorly and we will finish the colpotomy onto the same side first as the cervix is fall down then we will go to the opposite side to complete the colpotomy on the opposite side as we are doing this surgery with only two minor pods we are doing that part very slowly so we are going opposite side to complete the colpotomy part with the monopolar quadri this part of surgery already been demonstrated in previous youtube videos you can refer to that video so we are coming with monopolar quadri from opposite side to same side 
we are going posteriorly with monopolar cautery and completing the portion on the posterior part between the uterocycle ligament as this part is a little bit of thick we need to cut more i am using a coagulate current in monopolar cautery only not using a cut current in the monopolar cautery because cut current is very jumping and can damage the surrounding structure and collateral burning is more in that part so as the cervix is large hypertrophic in this case you can see and we are completing the colpotomy now to save the time we have already cut the fallopian tube on both the side we will put into the tube one by one doing specimen removal as you can see we have kept both the fallopian tube and now we will remove the uterus from the vaginal end we have removed the uterus and vault is closed from the below not to bore all of you i am going little bit of fast washing the pelvic cavity thank you so much for watching my video now no active bleeding i will remove the minor pots followed by major pots thank you so much